Kitchen Nightmares was a popular TV show in the early 2000s, where Gordon Ramsay would go to struggling restaurants in order to help the owners save their business. Gordon would often make unbelievable discoveries in those restaurants, such as filthy refrigerators, dead rotten, and sometimes insufferable owners. But how fake was the show? and how much of it was staged. Something we need to address before we start is that the UK version is vastly different from the US version. This video will focus mostly on how fake the US version was, and we will compare both versions later on. First, let's talk about all of those filthy fridge that are present in almost all of the restaurants that Gordon visits. We all know that some restaurants must be filthy, but those refrigerators are often full of perish food, mold, and are simply unsanitary. Now, put yourself in the shoes of a restaurant owner. If you asked help from Gordon Ramsay and you knew a TV crew was on the way, what would be your first reflex if your restaurant was filthy? That's right, you would clean the hell out of your restaurant. Why would you keep rotten meat in your fridge if you knew Gordon was coming? It's good to note that not every single restaurant in the show had a filthy fridge, but the majority of them did. And if they didn't, the segment was normally replaced by Gordon finding filthy ingredients and sometimes proceeding to close the restaurant in front of customers. Gordon always seems to make an ally in every single restaurant, whether it's a waiter, a part owner, or the chef, there's always someone that seems to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with the restaurant to Gordon. Also, in almost every single episode, there is a conflict. Whether it's between Gordon and the owner, or the owner and an employee, each conflict is presented to us with tense music, and sound effects to amplify that conflict. Another element that seems to appear in almost every episode is the emotional story. One of the staff member or the owner will share an emotional story and most of the time cry while being filmed. Some people argue that it's normal because people are in debt and are scared of losing their livelihood, which is fair, but that's just not the point. The point is you can see the consistency of those events I just mentioned happening in every single episode of Kitchen Nightmares US. There was also rumors that the producers would overbook the restaurant on the first night Gordon was there to make the staff look bad and fail at their duties, but those rumors were never really confirmed. With a budget of $1.5 million per episode, there is no way that the producers would leave it up to luck to make a good episode. Now, if you watch the UK version of Kitchen Nightmares, we saw a totally different Gordon. Back in the UK, Gordon seemed much more warm and inviting to the owners and their crew. Gordon would often bond with the chef and teach them while having fun. The UK version felt genuine. It felt like Gordon was there to not give a show, but to really help the owners. Whereas in the US version, it feels like Gordon goes out of his way to give a show and the contrast between the two versions is very unsettling. On the other hand, some people are arguing that the show isn't staged, but simply heavily edited by the producers. They argue that the restaurants featured on the show are simply the worst possible cases the producers could find and all of the selected restaurants had to behave the same for consistency. I think everyone agrees that the show is following a format. Gordon shows up, meets up with the staff, tastes the food, hate it, talk to the owner and the kitchen staff, return that night for dinner service, see the staff fail, on day two check the fridges and freezers, do some sort of group therapy with the staff and owner, remodel the restaurant overnight, and reopen to satisfied customers. Out of 77 restaurants that Gordon helped, only 16 are still open as of 2022. I think it's good to note that the show also did not clear any of the restaurant debt, which was often in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Whereas in the UK version, Gordon would often go over the financial aspect of the restaurant with the owners, which made much more sense to the audience since Gordon was there in the first place to get them out of the hole. 
So how fake was Kitchen Nightmares? The truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. Was the show entirely staged? Probably not. Was the show enhanced to be more attracting? Definitely. The consistency of the events I mentioned earlier in the video led people to believe that the show had to be scripted to a certain extent. It's normal that a TV show like Kitchen Nightmares follow a format so the episodes are somewhat similar. But if the content inside of the format is always similar from episode to episode, it really starts to give the vibe that the show might have been scripted more than we were led to believe. I think it's good to point out that Gordon and the TV show were sued on multiple occasions. Some of the owners went as far as to claim that the show brought some broken chairs and perished food into their establishment. Overall, if the show was entirely faked, we would have heard of it by now. Take for example Pimp My Ride. It took years for contestants to come out and say that the show was entirely staged. And that simply did not happen with Kitchen Nightmares. At least, not yet.